All right, so the details for this year's Tana Bata celebration on JP dropped a few hours ago, and I just had a chance to take a look at it. And I gotta say, guys, it's pretty awesome. I mean, it's arguably as good, if not better, than the upcoming 7th anniversary celebration on Global, which is saying a lot because the anniversary is amazing, but this is right there. It's really, really good. So in today's video, we're going to take a look at this in-game news release and find out what's going on together. So with that said, let's uh, scroll down a little bit here and we're starting with your standard stuff like the uh, login bonus, the missions, all that good stuff. And then we have the Dokkan Festival banner for the new LR Father Son Gallic Gun Trunks and Vegeta, which is an absolutely phenomenal unit, along with the side unit, which is the new Goku Black. And we also, of course, have the Tanabata banner, which uh, we get every year, with the new LR, along with the 7th anniversary LRs, which is dropping on July 7th, which is, um, I guess, technically the day of Tanabata, right? I could be wrong. I don't know exactly how the festival works, honestly, in Japan, but I know that it has something to do with sevens, and July 7th, which is 7-7, seven, seven, is the most significant date, right? So yeah, on July 7th, we are going to be getting this Tanabata banner, which features the new LR, both of the 7th anniversary LRs, along with probably at least like two other Dokkan Fest LRs. So that banner should be some pretty good value for people that uh, missed out on the anniversary LRs when the anniversary was actually going on, right? And after that, we have a stone sale, which uh, we don't get any details for, but I'm assuming the deals will be pretty good. And we also have the return of the Purunga Dragon Ball campaign. And uh, this time there are three sets of wishes, which means there's going to be 21 Dragon Balls. And... Uh, Apparently a new special wish, which uh, we'll discuss a little bit later in the video, but uh, yeah, three sets of wishes. It's gonna be, you know, a lot of more, a lot more free orbs, a lot more uh, meats or like herbal gems or whatever you guys want. Of course, Kai's as well, that's also an option. So that's gonna be good. And I'll probably make a video uh, later today talking about how you guys can get all 21 of the Purunga Dragon Balls to make sure that you can do uh, all the wishes, right? And from there, we have, uh, <clears throat> I think this is a new event. Uh, I'm not exactly sure which one it is, because what, from what I've heard, there's actually going to be a new event which guarantees link levels to increase when you do it. So what that means is, in theory, if you bring a team of like units that all have level 9 links, right, and... You complete the event then they should all get their links maxed out from level 9 to level 10 or at least like you know all level 9 links will become level 10 that is the theory that's what i'm hearing right now it sounds kind of crazy it sounds honestly unrealistic right it doesn't sound real but that's what people are saying so don't hold me to it if that doesn't happen but this is what's going on we're going around Twitter right now. People are saying there's a new event. It might be this one. It might be something else where, yeah, you get guaranteed link level increases. Of course, I'm sure there's a limit to it, you know, to how many times you can do it throughout the campaign or whatever. But um, apparently that's a thing. And it might be this. It could be something else. Okay. And then we have your wish strip um, exchange, which uh, allows you to exchange these like wish strip items that you get through various means, like missions, or login, or Purunga wishes, uh, for um, a list of 77 characters. And then we have the Dokkan event for, of course, the new LR. We have another new event. Now, this might be the one, actually, where you can increase your link levels. Like, there's a 100% link level increase rate. This might be the one. This might be something else. Um, the issue is I don't read Japanese, so I'm not 100% sure what the text says, but one of these is that event I was talking about, okay? And then we have, of course, all the Dokkan events available. We have 
a uh, category summon, which is trash, so don't summon on it. And then of course the Elder Kai banner. And a bunch of story events returning that are relevant to the theme of the celebration, which is Future Saga. We have a couple of Extreme Z areas returning. We have the Prime Battle uh, for the LR First Form Cell coming back. We have a new stage of Boss Rush, which is standard. We have a new stage of Infinite Dragon Ball History. Uh, new stage, or new stages for Super Battle Road. A new uh, Battlefield or Ultimate Clash. Um, a new, ex what's it called again? Extre no, Explosive Chain Battle. <laughs> I don't know why I keep forgetting. Explosive Chain Battle featuring Zamasu himself. And then we have the renewal of the Strike Event for King Vegeta with his Doken Awakening. And I'm assuming Extreme Z Awakening as well. That's pretty exciting. A viable King Vegeta in the game. Not something we've had ever, right? And now for the most exciting thing to me. This is definitely by far the most exciting part. Extreme Z Awakenings for Tech. Vegito Blue, STR Rose on the 7th, and then a week later on the 14th, Extreme Z Awakening for LR Trunks. And my no easy A for Rose and Zamasu, I gotta say, slightly disappointing. Slightly disappointing. I was hoping for these two guys, of course, that was my number one choice. And then number two, for an LR Extreme Z Awakening, I would have preferred. Uh, Rose and Zamasu, that doesn't mean it's not coming, it might be coming for part 2, but uh, these three getting Extreme Z Awakenings, especially these two, man, like, <laughs> that's all I wanted. That, that's honestly all I wanted from the celebration, so that's amazing, that's cool too, hopefully Rose and Zamasu in a, separate, uh, in a second part, right? And then we have the, uh, I believe, banner for the Vegito and Rose, we have the banner for the LR Trunks and Mai, we have a new stage for uh, Extreme Super Battle Road, of course a new Peton Battle, and that does it for now. So, if you just look at the sheer amount of events, the sheer amount of content that's coming for just this one part of the uh, Ten of Battle Celebration, I mean, it really rivals uh, part one of the seventh anniversary. I think maybe maybe the anniversary has a little bit more, but it's it's close, man. It's definitely close, and it depends on, I guess, like, which characters you, you like more, uh, which EZAs you're more excited for, because, you know, I think for a lot of people, Rose and Vegito Blue EZAs is actually more exciting than Super Saiyan 4, Gogeta, and Omega Shenron, right? Or the third anniversary LRs. Depends on the person, not saying that one is necessarily better than the other, I'm just saying. This is an awesome celebration, <laughs> and um, I was talking to Proton about this, I was like, yo, it makes sense that, like, Thanabata is this good, because, you know, Global's getting hype stuff now, and they can't make JP players feel like they're missing out, right, or make them feel like they're not as hype, right, so it's gotta be at least equal, and I think they accomplished that with this celebration, I think, at the very least, it's a comparable celebration to uh, the anniversary and you could argue that it might be even better I mean let me know in the, in the comments what your opinions are about that um I haven't really made up my mind I'm definitely excited super super excited for the global anniversary don't get me wrong but uh, this one is it's great I think I think mostly what's what's getting me like really hyped here is the Vegito Blue and Rosé. I mean, that's something I've wanted forever. That's something I know a lot of you guys have wanted forever. And I can't wait to see what they do, man. I just, the details um, are gonna drop in a couple days, but it couldn't come sooner because I just hope they, they, they do it right. I hope they do it right. I hope they don't mess up, especially Vegito Blue. Um, I have confidence they're both gonna be very good, but uh, We'll find out for sure in a couple days. So there you go, guys. That is the video. That is this year's Tana Battle Celebration on JP. Leave your opinions in the comments. And uh, as always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel if you're new. Hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And... 
until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Video, signing out.